What's going on guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here. My external microphone is not working for some weird way, that's a new Mac stuff, it's hard to connect it, but I decided to record video anyway, because hopefully you can hear me through the computer microphone, and let's just jump into an issue of today. So we wanna talk about burndown charts. That's an important part of Scrum. People are asking, how do you make sure that burndown charts is working, what they show, how to get to them, those are all great questions. And let me show you quickly what's a burndown chart, how you can find it in Jira. So first of all, I have my Jira board here. I'm about to start a new sprint. So that's what I'm gonna do. My burndown chart will look a little bit weird because I'm gonna start and stop sprint at the same time. You're probably not gonna do that. Um, in uh, your projects, you'll have a longer sprints, but I'm just going to do it just for a purpose to show you how it works. So we are starting a new sprint. We have a couple issues here and we're just going to move some of them to done. They're all estimate, which is very important <clears throat> because burn down charts is working on a story points. So make sure you have everything estimated before it goes to uh, sprint, which is a usual workflow in Scrum. So you should not be surprised. Then I'm going to mark some stuff as done. So I'm going to say this is done and it is done. So one point is done. So if I go to reports, let me open that in a new tab here. And if I go to a burndown chart, okay. So if I go to a burndown chart, it went down. So it says that we just completed one story point. So this line, the line in gray shows you how you're supposed to burn your story. So it's supposed to go down very gently. So you're supposed to be uh, completing stories in a way that uh, very predictable. So you complete maybe a couple points per, uh, per day. And then in the end, you finish at the end here and you're done with all your stories. Uh, it's, you see this uh, gray area. And the gray area just showed that this is a weekend. So sometimes in the weekends you won't have anything completed because people are resting on a weekend, hopefully. I'm recording that on Sunday. That's why I'm moving in that way. So uh, if I complete more of the things today, my burn down chart will just go down and down and down today. But if tomorrow I'll complete more stuff, it will be just, it will go to tomorrow and then we'll go down. So essentially it will continue going down. Let's come, let's, uh, let's close something else and we'll see that it will go from seven points, which was my uh, sort of velocity that I estimate for this uh, sprint to a, f let's say five points if I complete one more. So I move that to done. And if I refresh this chart, it just went to five points. So ideally, as I said, we will slowly go through seven to zero, maybe completing one story per day, story point per day. So very important, estimate your stories to see this because this is based on the story points. If you don't have story points, this won't work. There are also a couple very nice things in here. So it will show you sprint start and then uh, what we include into a sprint and then what we completed. So if you see that issues are if issues change story points, it will show here as well. So if you change from one to two, your Scrum Master, your project manager will be able to see that as well. And then it will show you in the end what was not completed. Uh, so in your sprint review, you can meet with your team and see, okay, why didn't we complete those stories? You can click on the stories, go there and check them out. So burn down chart is how we burn, our, how we burn the rate with which we burn our stories. Ideally, we burn them in a predictable rate. So this is goes very smoothly. And they will show you if you estimate it and if you have Scrum, it will easily show you your burn down chart. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want me to record more videos, if you want me to just do it over a longer period that you can see um, some burn down charts, I can do that as well. Importantly, if you add um, if you add stories with more points to a sprint, it will just go up. So at some point you can look and say, why did our burn down charts went up? And then you'll see exactly what stories were added because you can click on those uh, little 
circles or dots that will show you the stories that were added. So it's a very useful tool. My teams are using them all the time. All sprint reviews are there on retrospectives. We'll look at those burned down charts. Very, very useful. Hopefully it makes sense to you. If you have more questions, put them in the comments down below. Subscribe to this channel, ask questions, and I'll be continuing recording those videos, answer your questions. I try to bring you as much value as I can. And uh, yeah, if you have any, if you want to work with me and you want me to help you set up your Jira, work with your teams, go to defineagile.com, schedule a free consultation. I'll be happy to talk to you and help your teams. It was Anatoly from Define Agile. I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye. And sorry for the broken microphone.